hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new video in this video i'm gonna show you how to fix mid game crash i mean gameplay crash uh, in ESO for any game and how to fix start crash for any game in ESO so let's get started I will explain everything to fix crash issue for any game in user emulator in 2023 and 2024. Uh, if you face any issue uh, while playing games and on startup or while loading shaders uh, for user any game, so I will show you all solutions uh, of this problem for user. So do not skip any part of this video. So do as I say in this video. First of all guys, I have uh, different solutions. We go to first solution of this problem. Go to emulation, solution number one. Go to emulation and configuration. And go to graphics tab and go to advanced tab and go to ASTC recompression method click here and select BC1 low quality if you face crashing issue while playing games in user emulator then you can fix the issue after using BC1 low quality now I close it and solution number two if you face graphics glitches and other many graphics glitches and graphics textures issues then you can try another options uh, to fix this issue but you can fix the issue uh, like crashing issue after selecting bc1 uh, low quality go to emulation and configuration and go to graphics tab and select from here uh, go to advanced tab and and select from here bc3 medium quality and ok after these settings you can fix crash issue while playing games uh, in user emulator if you still facing the issue then we go to solution number three go to emulation again and configuration and go to graphics tab and select from here this option already selected and select Vulkan from here and select your GPU device and over here wishing mod turn it on you need to enable wishing on guys okay and select resolution scale 1x 720p by 1080p and gpu video decoding default and go to advanced tab and check these options and select high from here and go to controls and select handheld mode from here and ok and if you want to select wishing mode in your user emulator then you will need to enable wishing from your gpu device so go to control panel for your gpu device whatever you are using but i have nvidia gpu so i go to my control panel for my nvidia go to restore default settings click here go to manage 3d settings and go to restore default click here click on yes and wait for some time over here now click on apply now go to vertical sync option this one vertical sync should be on and click on apply and go to program settings and go to add options and go to browse and go to your user emulator application file you want to use so my user is here application file right click and open file location and select this application file and click on apply and for more settings for our GP device go to settings again global settings and go to power management mode select high performance from here scroll down and texture filtering quality 
select high performance and OpenGL rendering GPU select your GPU device and click on apply and make sure your settings uh, for your user emulator from your GPU device are same go to program settings again and you can see my user already selected so all settings are same you can see guys vertical thing should be on and go to adjust image settings select performance from here check this option and apply now go to configure surround and if you have internal GPU then select from pure CPU and if you have external GPU then you can select your GPU device name so I have external GPU and click on apply and it's done all settings from your GPU uh, for user emulator are completed now now I close it solution number four go to the game you want to play right click and remove all pipeline catches okay solution number five if you still facing the issue go to emulation again and configuration and go to graphics tab and select from your OpenGL because some games workable with OpenGL and some games workable with Vulkan. If you want to play new games in your user emulator, then you can select OpenGL. But in some condition, in some case, you cannot use Vulkan with new games in user emulator. So after selecting OpenGL, you can fix many issues for new games in Uzo. Now, okay. Solution number six. Go to file on Uzo and open user folder. Now close your user emulator and go to your user emulator application file. Right click and open file location. You can see this is my user emulator folder. Now we need uh, a new folder. Right click and go to new and folder and type here user and press enter now reopen your user emulator now close it and open it so we have new folders and files for our user emulator go to keys folder and go to your old folders and files for your user emulator Copy this prop keys file and paste here. Guys, your all game data in this folder, you can use this folder later if you want to use this folder for your games. Now close it and close it. Now reopen your user emulator. After deleting the folder, uh, the files, uh, you can uh, select your game directory. So this is my game, now go to emulation again, configuration and go to graphics tab and go to advanced tab and select medium quality and OK and use your old settings for your user emulator. Go to emulation, configuration again and go to graphics tab and check this option because we are using Vulkan. You can see controls and handheld mod and it's done now close it guys these settings are for mid game crash and now we go to second issue startup uh, crashing issue for user emulator so solution number one for startup crashing of user And guys, please, uh, please subscribe to my this channel. I really need more subscribers from my this channel. So if I helped you in this video, 
fix the issue then please subscribe i will be very thankful to you so go to file and open user folder and go to keys folder you can see over here i have a prod keys if you don't have any prod keys then you can fix the issue on startup you'll need a, a prod keys file for user emulator to fix startup crashing issue so if you have already keys file then you can rename the file so right click and go to rename and type here dot keys and press enter now close it after rename the key you should restart your user emulator restart it if you still facing the issue solution number two for startup crashing of user go to file and open user folder go to keys folder again and rename your fraud keys again right click and rename and press enter now in some case you can use prod keys only for uso and in some case you can use prod.keys for uso to fix the issue so in my case i can use prod only on my user emulator to fix the issue so i restart my uso after rename the key uh, of or uh, using the key you should restart the uso Solution number three, close your user emulator and go to search bar on your windows and type your percentage temp percentage, percentage temp T E M P and temp and press enter. Now guys, you, uh, you need to delete all files and folders from here. So I delete my all folders and files. Check this option and continue and close it. Solution number four, go to emulation again and configuration and go to graphics tab and select Vulkan. And if you want to select Vulkan in your uh, user emulator, and then you'll need to select your powerful GPU device. Guys, it's very important thing if you want to select your GPU device in your user emulator, then you'll need latest vision drivers for your GPU device. If you have older vision drivers for your GPU, then you can face crashing issue uh, on startup for user emulator. So I go to my uh, device manager first go to search bar and type your device manager go to device manager control panel and go to display adapter and properties and drivers so you can see driver date and driver version already installed in my pc for my gpu device so you can see my gpu device name so you can see guys uh, my drivers for my gpu device are up to date i'm making this video in 2023 uh, so you need to update drivers for your gpu device first if you want to fix the issue uh, on startup for user emulator so i click ok and close it and okay solution number five if you're still facing the issue then you'll need to know about your uh, a RAM already installed in your PC guys you need minimum 8 gigabytes RAM uh, already installed in your PC to run user emulator properly so I go to my system configuration I go to my this PC and properties you can see I have installed memory RAM 8 gigabytes if you have 4 gigabytes RAM then you cannot fix the issue you need more memory RAM uh, to run user emulator on your PC. If you have a 6 GB VRAM, then you, you can face a lot of issues uh, while opening user emulator. So if you have 
8 gigabytes or 10 or 12 gigabytes RAM already installed in your PC and if you're still facing the issue then I have a best uh, solution to fix startup crashing issue for user emulator so go to your uh, uh, search bar on the windows and type your msconfig msconfig and press enter or go to system configuration go to uh, boot options and advanced options and uncheck this option maximum memory uncheck it and uncheck this option and ok and apply and ok and restart your PC now. After these settings guys you can fix the issue for use emulator and you can play any game without any issue. So I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. If you like it then please subscribe on this channel and like my this video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye see you in the next video.